Please comment with your ideas and tips. I used to have consumer debt back in 2016. All my credit cards were maxed out. It was a combination of retail therapy, shopping for clothing I did not need, and buying a lots of ingredients that I would only cook one time. At that time, I thought we were in the middle class. My debt collection journey started with naiveness and ignoring reality. I left my nest in Burma to the USA and started college and working every day to pay for school and living. I was gassed out so I shopped and I ate. Luckily I did not gain much weight, thanks to my DNA. I never thought about retirement but I finally realized I need to take control of the situation. Over the next year and a half, I paid off all my consumer debts. So let's talk about how you can also get out of debt too. Getting out of debt requires discipline, planning, and commitment. Here's a list of strategies to help you tackle and eliminate your debt. Find the problem. An example for me was using spending money as my relief outlet and that got me into debt. How about you, write down your comments and share with us. Create a budget. Start by analyzing your income and expenses to understand your financial situation better. Allocate a specific amount to repay debt each month. I will make a simple budget video next time for you, let me know if you are interested. Snowball method. List your debts from smallest to largest. Focus on paying off the smallest debt first while making minimum payments on others. Once the smallest debt is cleared, move on to the next smallest and so on. Avalanche method. Prioritize paying off debts with the highest interest rates first, which will save you money in the long run. Debt consolidation. Combine multiple debts into one lower interest loan to simplify payments and potentially reduce interest costs. Be careful if this is federal student loans, you have other options and consult with your student loan services. I am not your financial advisor here so also check with your financial advisor too. One thing you need to watch out for is the interest rate and how often you need to pay the debt consolidation company. Negotiate lower interest rates. Contact your creditors to see if they're willing to lower the interest rates on your debts, which could make it easier to repay them. Increase your income. Consider taking up a part-time job or freelance work to generate extra income specifically for debt repayment. If you forget everything I say here, just remember to budget monthly, you will come out alive and well. Sell unwanted items. Declutter your home and sell items you no longer need to put extra money toward your debt. You can sell your items on eBay, garage sales, Facebook market, and next door. Cut non-essential expenses. Identify areas where you can cut back on spending, such as dining out, entertainment, or subscription services. I love doing this area every month, I find money in this area every month. I am not talking about thousands of dollars here. I rotate and shut off streaming TV like Hulu, Paramount, Peacock, Amazon Prime. YouTube is my favorite because it is free. Speaking of the channel, please subscribe to me. This helps my emotion and scripting every week for you. Use windfalls wisely. Whenever you receive unexpected money, like tax refunds or bonuses, allocate a significant portion to debt repayment. Trust me, that is how I paid off my 2014 Buick. Build an emergency fund. Establish a small emergency fund to cover unexpected expenses, so you don't have to rely on credit cards or loans in emergencies. 
I used to freak out whenever household appliances broke down. I clenched my teeth and cheek. Nowadays, I acknowledge the lifetime of the machine and say goodbye to the machine. Seek professional advice. If your debt situation is complex or overwhelming, consider consulting with a financial advisor or credit counselor for guidance. That is how I started to pay off my consumer debt. I talked to my dear friend, Linda. She and I sat down at the Panera Bread Company and I wrote down all my debts and she talked about some paying off ideas and investment ideas. I talked to a number of professional financial coaches, investment advisors online, in person and learned from YouTube. Shout out to my favorite YouTube friends, Hope and Larry from Under the Median, Kate from Kate Kate, Jordan Page from Funchy for Free, Rose Hahn, Dave Ramsey. I feel like they are my YouTube sisters, cousins and relatives. Go and check out their videos, worth your time. Debt Management Plan, DMP, enroll in a DMP through a nonprofit credit counseling agency to negotiate lower interest rates and manageable payments with your creditors. Ask your local library, they have good resources and that is how I learned too. Avoid taking on new debt, while repaying existing debts, avoid adding new ones to prevent worsening your financial situation. Debt is not welcome. Use cash instead of credit. Switch to a cash-based system for your everyday expenses to become more mindful of your spending. This one I do not agree with 100% if you are a responsible person. I have credit cards, I use only one with the highest cash back and the rest keep them alive. I will tell you more about it in another video. Refinance loans. If applicable, explore options to refinance high interest loans to lower rates, making them more manageable. Use balance transfers strategically. If you have credit card debt, consider transferring high interest balances to a card with a lower promotional interest rate. Participate in debt challenges. Join online challenges or support groups focused on debt repayment for motivation and accountability. I challenge myself every month. This is a game. I like to win so I kind of have to beat my own goals. Choose one category for example eating out. This month I told my husband, son and Romeo, my dog, that we are not eating out this month. It is the 7th and we will let you know if we make it or not. Focus on financial education. Learn more about personal finance, budgeting, and investing to make informed decisions and improve your financial habits. Read anything you can find. A few good places to start are NerdWallet, subscribe email from your CPA or nonprofit tax experts, Fidelity Women Talk Money, webinars from my Secure Advantage and my good friends like Linda and Latia. There are a lot out there. These few things will take you debt free if you really commit to it. Stay committed and patient. Getting out of debt takes time, so remain persistent and stay motivated throughout the process. Remember that every individual's financial situation is unique, so not all strategies may be suitable for everyone. Choose the methods that align with your circumstances and tailor your approach accordingly. Now subscribe and like our video see you on the next video. Please comment with your ideas and tips.